more new ransomware, because that's what everybody needs. This time, it's a .NET malware called Shell Locker, and from the name it's quite apparent as to what it does, but I'll just let you see the results for yourself. So, we're just going to rename this to an executable file. And now, as you can see, it looks like a, you know, self-extracting archive installer. And if you look at it, it says file description is document, file version 2.0.4.0, product name is document, and it has a copyright of Microsoft. So, well, good pretense, I'd say. Once we run it, boom, your screen is locked. You have a countdown timer, kind of like Jigsaw, and it has a Bitcoin address, which you need to pay the ransom to in order to get your computer back. And here's the funny thing about this one. You can't access your computer without killing the ransomware. Usually, ransomware will allow you to access your browser because you would need that in order to pay them. And you're no good to them if you're not going to pay, so... There's no point just locking your computer so that you can't do anything. But this one doesn't seem to care. It just locks up your screen. Um, you really can't do anything, trust me. Um, I've tried everything with this. Alt F4 does not work. If you might notice the sound, I just smashed the Alt F4 button like four times. Control Alt Delete doesn't work either. So I'm just gonna insert a Control Alt Delete. And uh, you do get the screen, but if you choose something like Task Manager, it just is not going to open. So, um, well, it says all your photos, videos, music are encrypted. You have 48 hours to pay up $100 in Bitcoin or your files are going to be gone. And it even mentions here that you can delete the virus, but your files are gone too. And then have a nice day. This sounds like something GLaDOS would say. Well, I just ruined your day, but I'm going to make it worse by saying have a nice day in a condescending way at the end of it. So let's see what happens if we reboot the system. I'm pretty sure this is going to come back and we won't be able to access our desktop. Our desktop background is changed and as you can see our files are indeed encrypted. The extension seems to be dot .locked with um, a zero instead of an O. And once again, as you can see, it has a startup item that just takes over the screen. But what's funny is every time you reboot your computer, this countdown timer just resets itself. Because I'm pretty sure we had counted down to a couple of minutes, but now it's like 48 hours again. That makes me think maybe this countdown timer thing is just fake. It probably doesn't do anything to your files regardless of the countdown timer. Or maybe it's implemented on the server side. It's just a pathetic implementation on the application end. So in any case, this is a .NET ransomware. I did try to take a look at the code, but I couldn't really make out much from the regular disassembly view because uh, the ransomware creators in this case did take their time to obfuscate their code so that, you know, people just can't open up a .NET disassembler and look it up, which is something Jigsaw didn't do. So in that way, it is more sophisticated than Jigsaw. I'm just going to try to reboot the system in safe mode and see what happens. We should be able to access the computer and get rid of this ransomware. So I'm going to try Shift Restart because uh, since Windows 10, it's now harder to reach safe mode. Oh, come on. I have to click like five different options for this. All right, so we're going to go for safe mode with networking. Hopefully this will get rid of the ransomware startup item. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Hmm, can't even open File Explorer? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, it just deleted the shortcut. No harm done. If we go into pictures, our files are indeed encrypted. No joke. But for some reason, it left this one. No? 
weird. But yeah, as you can see, everything's still locked. And here's another funny thing. It didn't leave any readme files anywhere for you to just look up the Bitcoin address, which is again, not traditional behavior. But well, there you have it. Files are indeed encrypted. So it's not all show. Let's open up Task Manager and see if it just created a startup item. Yeah, it probably did. Let's see what happens if we disable all of these document locked lock. Yeah, we'll probably be able to boot in just fine once, um, you know, all of this is disabled. Let's see if we are able to do that. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't see any screen takeover. So I think uh, that's it. You can, of course, now just go and delete that document file and you should be good. But uh, I believe it does use an encryption key stored on the server side. So unless you can get the encryption key, you're most likely doomed. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick ransomware demonstration. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of uh, .NET ransomware? It seems very easy to just uh, make a different variant of these. And they don't necessarily have to be very sophisticated in order to succeed. Oh, and by the way, this ransomware was probably discovered by Jacob Krustek. It's still fairly new, and I noticed a lot of AV engines still do not detect it. Some popular ones even, including Malwarebytes, ESAT, Sophos, and a few others. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. This is Leo, you are watching the PC Security Channel, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.